Did I hear somebody, was there a French person who has had a fiance? Is that? <laughs> Very cool, man, congratulations. It was nice. It was weird, because I was listening to you when, when you're speaking and I was like, it's weird, because fiance is French, isn't it? Because <laughs> I, I know this sounds weird, but in my head you said, oh yeah, no, and this is my fiance, and then I was like, what's the French for fiance? <laughs> Is that a little bit weird to you that in English you have to say some French words every now and again? Right? Because like that, that's the thing, like we do that. We'll be like, we'll be like, fiancé, entrepreneur. You know, like, like think about it. we do that like touche. We just say that to each other in conversation as people. Someone will say something, you say something back and you're like, oh, touche. <laughs> but like, I don't think French people, do you guys do that with English? Or like French people just hanging out with each other and it's like, eh, les trucs, les, les partout du ciel, les partout dans le And I'll sort of, ha ha, you touch me. <laughs> you do that? You don't, right? It's just weird. <laughs> it's totally weird to me. We just use other languages in our language. That's really strange. That's exciting, man. So, say again? French fries are not French? I like how you said that with passion. And French fries, they are not French. <laughs> Trevor, I have to tell you all of these secrets. The French fries are not French. But do you eat them in France? Yeah, right there. Yeah. So why are you complaining? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You guys are also like, where are these French fries from? <laughs> they say they are from France. Jean Pierre, are these yours? No, they are not. <laughs> Michel, are these your friends? No, they are not your friends. Who are they friends from? <laughs> they said they are French friends, but no French person knows where they are from. <laughs> oh, man. What made you move from France? What, you said 17 years you've lived in Detroit. What made you move? Atlanta. Say again? Atlanta. Atlanta, sorry, yeah, Atlanta. What? You just walked? <laughs> oh, shit. did you say work? Oh, sorry, your accent, because you said, no, I did walk. And then I was like, <laughs> I was like, wow, that's one hell of a journey, my friend. You're just like, one day I was walking. I was walking by the Eiffel Tower, and I said, I've seen this before. I've seen all of this before. I'm going to walk a little further. And then I walked and I walked and I walked some more. And then a few years later, I was like, Atlanta! <laughs> then I was tired, so I stayed. There's no reason to go back. Oh, wow. That's fine. And then you fell in love with Atlanta and you stayed. No. no? <laughs> what happened? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. So you go to Atlanta, the recession happens, so now you're stuck in Atlanta. That is so dope. I feel like I should make a TV show about you, man. That's like a fun story. It's like I ended up in Atlanta, and now this is my life. How did you make money? I became a rapper. In the ATL, I became the only French trap rapper. Who else do we have from where? Yes? Egypt. Oh, very nice. That's cool. Cool and exotic. Yes. How are things going over there? Just blink if it's good. And blink twice if it's bad. I won't say your name, I won't put you on camera. You can go back, your president doesn't have to know you were here. Things are good in Egypt. Uh, when, you, when you watch Donald Trump, does he remind you a little bit of Egyptian leaders? Yeah, a lot? Yeah, it's just like, just without the Arabic. Just like, say again? They're also what? Oh, they are friends, yeah. Yeah, he is. You can see that. You cool if... Be, like, I feel like Trump would be exactly the same, even if he spoke Arabic. It would be like the same thing. He'd be like... Yalla, <laughs> yalla! One of the most interesting stories I read today was um, the TSA is planning to unroll uh, a program where they say they want to get rid of airport screening Woo! at small airports. Wow, you were like, you were quick. 
You were just, oh, that's so funny. This is the funniest thing. I said the TSA wants to get rid of airport screening. He went, woo! And then I said, wow, you're happy. And then he just went like this. I feel like, I feel like you're like, uh, I get randomly selected way too much. Is, is that what it is? You pre-check? They said even if you paid, it doesn't right. necessarily count. Wow. Wait, so you got pre-checked and you still get checked? Yeah. So they're like, now nah, we need post-check for you. <laughs> we, need, we need post-check. Well, what, what, what's your name? Uh, Salman Mirani. It used to be Salman Mohammed. But then your name was Salman Mohammed? Yeah. Okay. But we Wait, are you being serious? You know what's crazy? I'll tell you the, the, uh, the, a person I've had with a, a name with, that had more trouble than you. I met a gentleman in, in the UK, and he has never been allowed into America because his name is Jihad. <laughs> and so, like, he t that's his normal name. And Jihad, if you, if, you know, if you know anything about Islam, it's about the internal struggle that a Muslim fa f person faces every day in their lives. It's not, it's not about, like, blowing shit up necessarily. You can use it whatever it is. And so Jihad is about the struggle you face as a human being in your life. Every religion has a different word for it. But so he was telling me his story. But what was funny was, I didn't know. He was like, hey, man, America won't let me into the country. And I was like, why? And he's like, oh, because I'm a Muslim and because of my name. And I was like, this is disgusting. This is horrible, whatever, whatever. And I was like, I can't believe they would block you. And then I was like, so what's your name? And then he's like, my name is Jihad. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like, like, here's the thing. I mean, I get where you're coming from. <laughs> but in America's defense, imagine if you were the like, TSA guy who let him in. And then they would be like, Barry, like his name was Jihad. <laughs> and he's like, I know, dude, but I just thought, I thought it was like a friendly Jihad. Like, <laughs> so like, I, you know, it's not, it's not a good thing, but, but it's, it's weird that you have the, the preaching. But anyway, then you'd be excited by this news. They said that the TSA is planning to cut, they want to get rid of TSA pre-checks and security at small airports because they say it costs too much money. They want to save like $150 million, right? Because it costs them too much money to, to, to scan all the people. And then, like, a lot of people are opposed to it because they're like, yo, it's still an airport. And, and then they were saying, yeah, but we just don't think that terrorists care about the smaller planes. <laughs> and I was like, isn't it so funny <laughs> that, like, because you know when you're flying from those tiny airports, you've got those, like, little shitty planes that nobody <laughs> likes? You know, the tiny ones with no overhead and, like, it's two and then one, but, like, everyone is squashed together. And I was just like, I was just thinking, how funny would it be if there is no security? And then, like, they get on the plane. And then, like, everyone hates those planes and they hate flying into those regional flights so much that, like, one day a terrorist does try to blow it up and he's like, he's like, everybody, I'm hijacking this plane! And everyone's like, whatever, man, we don't, this... They're like, yeah, just get us out of our misery. This is... Look at this plane. Just, yeah, just end it now, man. End it now. And, like, I feel like he wouldn't even have enough space to hijack one of those planes. You'd be in your seat and then you'd be like, I'm taking this plane! Ah, 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 ah! You've got, you've got a row of sashes over there. Are you, are you Miss America contestants? Yes. yes, you... Oh, welcome to the show. This is very cool. Who do we have? We have Miss... Miss Miss District Columbia. of Columbia, Miss Texas, Washington. Miss Washington, Miss Iowa. Iowa, Miss Pennsylvania, Miss New York, Miss Ohio. Oh, this is dope, man. Do you guys just, like, roll with the sashes all the time? <laughs> I like that. It's like a cool... Th I need that. Mr. Daily Show, can we get that for me? <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with that. Can I ask you a question? Why is it that they ask you harder questions than they ask the President of the United States? <laughs> Every single Miss America pageant I watch, they ask them, they go like, looking at the Middle East and what's happening. How do you feel we could destroy ISIS for once and for... And then, like, Miss America contestants are like, well, I think what we need to do is look at our allies and figure out how we strategically involve... And then with the President, it's like, what do you think we should do? And he's like, I, I, uh... <laughs> I think we should watch Miss America and see what they say. <laughs> and we'll figure it out. By the way, have you practiced your fake happy for the other person winning faces? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like my favorite thing ever. <sighs> Where are you from? New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, that's a long, long journey. Yeah? How long are you here for? Um, six weeks. Six weeks? <laughs> well, I just like, it's like flat, six weeks. Yeah, that's cool. Why did you come now? We just like, I want to see what suffering in the cold seems like. <laughs> just want to feel it. Summer holidays. Summer holidays? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So you're just like, I'm just gonna skip summer and go and... Do you guys get snow in New Zealand? No, you don't, right? It, not even with like climate change, it hasn't happened. Because in South Africa, we didn't really get snow and now we get a bit of snow at random times, sometimes. You guys know snow? We get snow like down south. Right. Really Oh, so it's just like, this is, is this, so you enjoying the snow? Yeah. Oh yeah, you see, I like that. Yeah, because New Yorkers, everyone's just like, there's goddamn snow everywhere. <laughs> there's goddamn snow everywhere. <laughs> and then like every foreigner's like, it's the most wonderful time of the year. 